Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dylan again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited today and the reason why I'm so excited about today's video is because we're actually going to start doing augmented reality. We set up the project, we went through and you know set up the Unity project and also send it to Big Bucket. So we have basically everything to, to get going in Unity. And before we actually start creating the game, and even though I said that, we're gonna do one one important task, which is to actually set up the AR key remote. And what is the AR key remote? The AR key remote is gonna be basically a, an iOS application and an iPad application that we're gonna be installing in our devices. Whatever device you're gonna be using for development, that's where this application is gonna go to. And what it'll do, it'll actually connect to Unity. So we'll be able to create our game and then work in Unity and use the video feed that you're getting from your device right into Unity so that we can actually see what's happening while while making our game and then why we're seeing that on the camera. So let's actually get to it. I'll, I'll show you all the steps and, and then we'll continue on. Thanks guys. All right guys, so here we are in Unity and I'm gonna show you how to build the ARKit remote so that we can do debugging while we make an AR game. So the first thing that you gotta do is you gotta click on File, Build Settings. We're gonna make sure that we have iOS platform enabled. Also make sure that you have the Unity ARKit Remote scene check. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the development build is set to on, basically it's check and we're gonna build that scene. I already built that scene basically to save you, to save us time from, from watching it build. So normally you just hit save and it's gonna, it'll create a Xcode project for you. Since I already have that scene built, we're gonna go into that scene, open it up and open the Xcode project. Once you have the Xcode project open, all you gotta do is make sure that the display name is something relevant to, to this application. This normally, I believe, is set to something else. So I name it ARKit Remote so that I know where to find it on my phone. So once you have that enabled, you're gonna hit play. Basically you have to select the device that you wanna build it to. I already have my my iPhone enabled, so you select your iPhone and then hit play. I already built it to my iPhone device, so I'm not gonna do that so that we don't wait for that. And once you have it, once you have it built, you'll see on your device that there is an ARKit remote icon showing. So let me show you how to actually run an augmented reality scene. So I'm gonna go back to Unity and I'm going to go to the focus square scene and we're gonna double click on the focus square scene. And I want to select the camera so that you can see how the camera is rotating as I rotate my phone. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. And in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to put the game scene on the right hand side and then the scene editor on the left side. So the first thing that you gotta do is you gotta open the app on your uh, on your device. So once you have it open, you'll see the Made with Unity logo opens up, and then you'll see an indicator saying that it's waiting for a connection. So make sure that your iOS device is connected to your computer via USB or via Wi-Fi, because basically what's gonna happen is the feed that comes from your phone is gonna be sent into Unity and we're gonna be able to see the changes in Unity as that information gets sent over. So we're gonna play this scene. And the next thing that you gotta do is we're gonna go to console and go to editor. And I'm gonna select the iPhone device that I have selected. That's gonna give you a little indicator. Let me actually zoom in a little bit more to start the remote AR key session, just, just select that button. And my phone is actually pointing to the floor. So I'm actually gonna rotate my phone. And so you can see on the left side, the Unity 
the Unity camera is rotating because it's getting information from my from my iPhone device. On the right hand side, you can see the the 3D object. You can't really see exactly how it looks on your phone on in Unity, but you can see how it's basically trying to detect, you know, points on the floor. It's trying to basically find planes. So we know that that, that part is working. There's also some debugging options in here showing you where the indicator where the indicator is right now so if i rotate my phone i'm basically able to see the object so if we had a game on the right hand side we could actually see it you know how it's looking in augmented reality and also see the objects that are in 3d in our editor scene so so it looks like that's working i'm not gonna do anything else for this video but just to recap, in this video, we, we went through and created the Xcode scene. I show you some of the build settings and what you needed to do. And we actually send the information from our iOS device into Unity. And we saw those changes in Unity. So on the next session, I'm going to actually start working on the game. We're going to be creating the, a prototype scene for the game idea that we have, which is to actually create a building and a building that we're going to be destroyed in augmented reality so thank you guys i appreciate your time don't forget to subscribe again and don't forget to share the video thank you very much